Mm. Howdy folks, it's Monday. We got a new tool to check out. This one is from a company that calls themselves Enjoy Wood, which you know kind of says it all right there. I've got pictures here of uh, different saws and different machinery and things on their little label here. But uh, today what I've got here is in a big box and it's, uh, yeah, it's a laser engraver. We're going to check this thing out. Should be, should be cool. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Huh? Yeah. Let's get this party started, shall we? Let's get her open so we can have a look and see. Looks like it's a fairly big machine. I don't know what the exact dimensions are yet. We'll get into all that once we uh, get her unboxed and look at these specs. Uh, I'll open the box up a little bit just so you can see what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've got a, a plate. That's okay. We've got a better plate than that one. Yeah, that's cool, but... Uh, it looks like about a yeah cutting mat. Yep. The uh, foam. Let's see. Get the foam off. There's the yep. There's the picture of the laser mm. engraver. And I guess we should say cutter. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna get this all uh, wow out of the box. We'll lay it out and uh, take a look at all the parts. I guess as to what comes with it. So here's the layout. We've got everything laid out here and there's uh, first off the first thing you'll notice when you unpack this one is the laser is is heavy. It's heavier than I think any laser I've had come in to date but also the metal or aluminum uh, framing here is heavier than anything I've had come in to date. So everything seems to have a little bit more uh, weight to it than what I'm used to with lasers. So that's you know I, I think that maybe that's a good thing. There's uh, some basic parts to assemble. Again, we'll have the we'll have to put our uh, you know, our belt in and get our belt set up, which again is you know one of those things that almost almost every laser that's come in here has had to have a belt set up on it. And that's once you've done one, I think it's just a no kind of a no brainer thing. It's okay. You know, this is the front which will bolt onto this. Uh, we've got the two side panels back here, also a rear panel, and the legs are sort of like already built in. So that's kind of, you know, again, a little different, you know. And we've got our hardware. We have uh, the usual micro SD card uh, to, an, uh, to an USB uh, 2.0 style. Uh, let's see, we also have some samples of wood that, so we can, you know, start burning something right away for projects, just so we can have a look. Now, the gauge thing here is going to be a little strange. You've got three of these pieces here. These are technically your gauges you're going to set for your focal length. Also, your laser, by the way, is rated at 10 to 11 watts. So it's, it's a good, strong 10 watt laser. So we'll get more into that a little bit. We also have our usual printer cable. The control package is up the front here. And it's on the left side instead of the right side, which is a little different. And again, we've got the emergency uh, stop switch with the... I think I just released it. Maybe I have to cut this first and then release it. Okay. The other thing too about the laser, I'm just show you. It's got this really heavy protective glass in the front of it that's uh, tinted to protect your eyes. And the rest of it is totally, you know, surrounded here. There's no goggles with this laser. So they seem to... Th think that this is pretty much going to keep you safe and it you know technically they're right it should uh, the laser is going to be working behind here you shouldn't be staring at it while it's doing its thing so it's kind of like welding you know you don't watch a welder at least I hope you don't <laughs> the manual is very thick and the very first uh, paragraphs in here is uh, pretty heavy with uh, all the technical information and instructions maintenance and what have you. Also talking about the software that they include as opposed to, or you can use of course Lightburn, which we will be using. The control box description, the assembly, which is again, you know, there's the assembly. It's pretty basic. You know, you just basically bolt everything together, put your uh, belts in for your track, set that up so that both sides are even or whatever, and you're pretty much good to go at that point. And so let's get this assembled and let's get into it. So we've got it together. Uh, it only took uh, probably about maybe 15, 20 minutes to assemble. There's really not that much. There's you know the screws on the corners here. There's like uh, two sets of screws each on these corners. 
to pull the frame together. Do not put the back on. Uh, put your laser, this, this top piece here, slide that onto your tracks with your wheels first, and then you can put your plate on the back. Not a big e issue. Uh, probably the only assembly issue I ran into, which was minor, was this uh, belt right here. It, it would not line up properly with this, but that's okay because once you get your belt set up on here, you don't want it real tight. You just sort of want it uh, snug, you know, almost a little, almost feels a little sloppy, but that's where you want it. But you want to release this coupling and slide this back and forth a bit because what you're trying to do is get these gears to line up with these belts and then snug and tighten this up so that it's lined up properly. And you'll know it's lined up properly because your belt will lay down nice and flat throughout this area here inside those uh, bars. Uh, also, you'll notice I'm using my um, honeycomb for cutting and whatever. I'm not using their plate. Their plate is fine. That's great that they include that because a lot of these machines come in do not even have that cutting plate or any pl uh, protection plate at all for, you know, underneath the machine. So that was a great item. Uh, I am a uh, associate of uh, Amazon seller, so I will pro provide a link in the description below for where you can get this honeycomb plate if you're interested in having one. They work with any laser, they're great. This is uh, machine is like a lot of them that have been coming in. It's 400 millimeter by 410 millimeter working area, which seems like they're <laughs> almost all of them seem to have that number. This plate is 400 by 400, so you're losing 10 millimeter. Oops. Anyway, not a big not a big deal. Right now, I'm setting my origin here, and we're just going to cut a circle or something, just to very very basically test the machine at this point with light burn, and just run and uh, we'll cut a we'll cut a little hole or something in the wood. But uh, I think we're ready to go. There really wasn't that much to assemble, so you know, pretty satisfied with it. It's a very heavy machine, which is a little different, but. Let's see, it's, it's not noisy, but again, the microphone will probably pick up a lot of sound, so sorry about that. Um, and let's see, we're gonna, I think we're ready to, we'll set our origin, and we will bring in, I'm just gonna bring a circle, a little circle thing in here. Uh, we'll frame it. And that's a pretty big circle, but that's okay. Wow, that's a really big circle. Well, I guess I got a little bit carried away. And we're just going to start uh, as soon as we're finished. Okay, let's start. There we go. One pass. Just one pass with a 10 watt laser. And that's uh, about 1 8 thick uh, brass wood or, or bra bass wood that I'm using here. And it looks like I made a, a heck of a circle there. Yeah, I made a big one. But there she goes. Whew. Just about. Right off the edge of my other circle. Yeah, maybe I should have made a smaller circle. <laughs> but, uh, yep, there she is, and she's cutting, and she's finished. Now she'll be, yep, there we go. And I'm sure that's, yeah, that's, there's your lumber right there. I mean, there's just, wow, look at that, look at that circle. So, yeah, definitely doing the trick on that. Alrighty. We come back, let's engrave something. So this is uh, really much more than you should do. Like I said, it's uh, I've cut right through the quarter inch, and I'm, whew, I've got some thin things here. All right. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, we cut through. I had to do two passes, and I've got a fair amount of burning or tracing mark on the outside. But that's pretty typical of the situation you're going to look at here. But we've got the Jurassic Park logo, and we cut through quarter-inch plywood, which, uh, you know, <laughs> what can I say? Let's talk about the features, and, you know, who's this machine for? Well, 
So a lot of things about this, I want to talk about the features a little bit. It has hard limits, that's kind of important. I like having the hard limits even though, uh, when, if you saw like when I set this up, I set my point of origin up. I like using an origin point because you can really predictably put the, the laser exactly, you know, pretty much close to where you want it when you're going to do something like engraving or something like this. And then also, of course, when you come back and I did a, a second line and did a cut line around this, uh, point of origin, you know, I always like to use that, but it does have hard limits, so that's a good thing. It has a very solid laser. The laser is between 10 and 11 watt power rating, so it's a good strong laser. The machine frame is very heavy, it's very sturdy, so, you know, that's, that's a good build. Uh, construction wise, you know, it's easy to put together. There's only a few screws to go in here and there to put it together. It's, you know, I, I've seen this is probably one of the easiest, fastest machines I have put together, short of something coming in a box where you just plug and play. The control package is, is, seems to be good. It's really kind of weird that it's on the left side instead of the right side. Usually it seems like everybody wants to go over to that side. Uh, cable management is about the same as everybody else's. It's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. You've got moving parts that are, you know, sliding around, moving. So yeah, the cables are going to have to be able to take up that flex. They give you enough cable, of course, to manage it, and you also have tie wraps, so you can cable wrap it up to, you know, clean it up a little bit better, so that it's it's a little bit more controlled than uh, what I've got here. Right, I just sort of threw this together quick for you. The talking uh, using light burn is one thing. They also include their own software. They have an in-house software package to run the uh, system. It's, um, I guess we'd call it like light burn light, you know, it's, it's basic, but at the same time, it will allow you to get up and running and get engraving or cutting. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, software is something in the industry that I still think is kind of, kind of weak. Uh, you either go to light burn or you get these like really light duty, uh, kind of, you know, minimal, minimalistic uh, software packages that can run, you know, the, the laser. Cutting plywood wise, I cut, I used two passes in order to cut that quarter inch and I probably could have just slowed the laser down speed wise, cut it maybe in half or something and got a cut out of one pass through quarter inch plywood in here in North America. That's, that's cutting some pretty serious material at that point with a 10 watt laser, but it will do it. I've seen 5 watt lasers do stuff, so the 10 watt just gives you that much more power to deal with. Solid frame, ease of construction. Hard limits, 10 watt laser. Uh, we'll be providing a, hopefully a pretty good discount code in the link below supplied by uh, Enjoy Wood. I wanna thank them for sending this over to us. And uh, we've been waiting to try to get this on here so we can show it to you and test it ourselves to see you know how it works. And overall picture right now is I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's really a decent machine. I have, you know, very well no complaints at all about it it's it all went together nice and it's doing everything it's supposed to do and the 10 watt laser is just like it says it's a good powerful 10 watt laser so yeah awesome wow good laser that's from enjoy wood uh they have some other tools uh, as besides the laser but the uh laser was sent over uh it's been here for weeks i've been just just wanting to show it to y'all or, or try it out, you know, see how it works. And it was everything solid. So yeah, great, you know. Uh, links will be provided for everything in the uh, show today uh, below. So that'll be, uh, hopefully we'll get you a good discount code on that one if you're interested in a laser. Uh, it's a heck of an interesting hobby in engraving and cutting the lumber and even cutting plywood and stuff, which, you know, they don't say you should or whatever, but I, I cut stuff all the time. I also found it blows rust off of metal. That's kind of interesting. Uh, there might be some more to that uh, down the road. And meantime, uh, big uh, draw coming up Thursday. Yes, like always, I uh, love those draws. And uh, right now, Thanks for watching and viewing, and please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell for the contest. And I'm out of here. <sighs> oh, wow, over and out. <laughs>